Good morning, Kingswood House pupils, parents and staff, and welcome to this week's Headmaster's blog. It's Friday the 25th of September. First of all, a big congratulations to all of you boys. Um, I must say the staff and I really do feel that you're beginning to get to grips with the new normal here on site at Kingswood House, uh, finding your way with diligence around the one-way system um, and increasingly lunch times are becoming slicker and better. My next request is obviously more of the same, but please uh, try and do so in a way that perhaps is a little less, less vociferous, so less noisy. Um, and certainly I would urge you to be more mindful of your own personal space and indeed respectful of that of others, uh, especially adults. There are certain pinch points on site, particularly in the corridors uh, queuing up for lunch, especially if it is wet and raining. Um, and it really does mean that all of you have got to play your part in helping the system to work. There aren't really very many other alternatives that we can put in place for lunch. And it is one of those times where we just for a few minutes would really urge you to be uh, mindful, tolerant and, and, and understanding of the situation in hand. So please, boys, just make sure that when you're moving around the school site, especially indoors, near staircases or in narrow corridors, that you are incredibly diligent and looking to see that you are not in the way of other people and that you are giving um, enough space for people to be able to pass you by at a good, safe distance. That is my next step, my next request of you please, that I would like to see in evidence as the weather has started to turn and it may well be that there are lunch times, uh, break times or play times that we have to spend more time inside. I mean I hope not but we do have to prepare for that eventuality. Um, it was great to see Stride, that is our business and enterprise module, come into school this week to start work with Year 9s. Well done also to our Year 8 boys who had their vaccinations earlier this week with minimum fuss um, and the nurses were very much uh, um, pleased with the way that the boys uh, circumvented that situation. So well done to you. Um, parents, just a, a little update in terms of small um, things we're trying to do to, to, to help as the term progresses. We are looking at bringing in uh, boiler suits for upper prep and lower prep boys Hopefully, by half term, you'll have some details of how to order one of those. And I do think that particularly for those boys who will be on the field um, as the conditions deteriorate in terms of weather, the boiler suits will present an excellent option for them to be able to be outside um, and just put it on and take it off um, and also protect the uniform or the clothes that they're wearing underneath. Uh, so Mr Clark and Mrs Lambert are working with Mrs Witts on that and you should have news shortly. Um, we're also looking at more storage space for the um, boiler suits, for Wellington boots, for coats, blazers. So we are building three more sheds behind uh, the Humanities building and the Katie Walton building and the senior boys will start to use the changing room just to store their stuff, not to get changed. So we are preparing um, as thoroughly as we can do to make sure that uh, bases are covered for when the weather is uh, set in. We're also looking at installing two extra floodlights in the car park to brighten that up, which has been um, in direct response to your feedback. So again, we have um, instructed someone to, to do that. Uh, the earliest at the moment, I'm afraid, looks as though it's going to be November. They are so busy, um, but we are top of their list for any cancellations. So that will be done in due course and hopefully um, the right side of half term if possible and if not then shortly afterwards and just um, at the front of the school a couple of the posts have been knocked over by parents driving around the horseshoe at the front um, it's not for me to comment on any individuals driving obviously but uh, it is firstly expensive and secondly um, extremely cosmetically unappealing for those posts um, to be knocked over please can you tell us if you do hit one um, so that we can um, address it as soon as possible and secondly if you are coming around that way on the horseshoe just please give yourself a little bit of time um, to negotiate that space it is quite tight 
but you can fit a, um, a Range Rover around it. So I've done it myself and do so regularly, um, and indeed a minibus. So just please, I would ask you to take a little bit of extra precaution as you drive through the horseshoe so that we can preserve the front of the school uh, looking fit for purpose to anyone who passes by, please. Right, on to mentions and dispatches this week. Um, well done to Zane in Mrs Lambert's class who's been really positive about his learning and produced some excellent detailed descriptions in English. Well done to you, Zane. Well done to Jamie, uh, whose knowledge on ancient Egypt is nothing short of amazing. You have really impressed Mrs Marskell. And well done to Toby Hasselden, who has created an excellent impression with his artwork with Mrs Wraith. So well done to you, Toby. Uh, Frankie in 4S has been using some amazing similes in his poetry this week, and I know that firsthand because I have signed them off with a commendation. So well done to you, Frankie. Uh, into Upper Prep, Peter Summers and Rhys Bishop have been commended for excellent science work by Miss Forbes, and Frankie Larter has shown great resilience returning to school after being unwell in 5S, and Lucas Christie has just generally shown super manners. So well done to you. Lauti in Year 6 has been a really diligent monitor over the last two weeks and Tristan has been a great uh, help with a guide for a prospective pupil this week, so well done to you. Zachary Yanni has been nominated by Mr Barrett for a great attitude in science, as has Kevin Tan in 6S, so well done to you Zachary and well done uh, Kevin. Josh McCrossan has been nominated in Year 7 for excellent work in multiplication. And Josh Isles has been nominated, I think now that's two weeks in a row for you, Josh. Um, but well done. That's uh, also for science from Mr. Barrett. And Enzo Reed has shown excellent values, Kingswood House values, after a really tricky time um, earlier in the week with a difficult incident outside his house. But he has shown real fortitude. And great to talk to him about that today. And um, we're proud of you, Enzo. You've bounced back with real character. So good effort. I'm very proud of you. Um, Noah Seeger has been nominated in 7P for sharing some fascinating information about World War I. Thank you to that, Mr Twinley. Uh, into Year 8, Ruri Fitzpatrick has made a really positive start to the term Keep It Up from Mr Lordy. And Zach Fitzgibbon in 8T has been a really fine ambassador uh, during a socially distanced tour with a visitor earlier in the week. Thank you for that, Zachary, from Madame Taylor. Into year nine, Ishmael Mohammed, um, looking very dapper and smart every day, setting the right tone for others in the class from Mr Hendry. And Harvey Weems has been nominated in 9T for focus and application in mathematics. Uh, Tommy Collins as well, for working hard no matter what, being polite and keeping a sense of humour. Well, that is indeed a very essential ingredient at this time. So well done, Tommy. Into year 10, Eddie Fisher has a nomination for his quiet diligence and Joe often a mention also for a really encouraging all-round start to the term for Mrs Hornstetter. Um, in 10W, Mrs Weston in her absence was delighted to receive a communication from someone who covered her registration period saying how much of a joy the entire form were. They were well behaved and helpful um, and displayed excellent behaviour. So well done again to 10W. And into year 11, uh, Miss Roots would like to commend the maths set she teaches for being positive after their maths results and getting stuck into the new work immediately. So work immediately ahead in preparation for next term uh, mocks. Well done, guys. That's a great attitude. And into 11W, Mrs Wraith is really pleased with all of you, actually, for attaining some really good um, encouraging pre-test results and showing, again, the, the fortitude and uh, a determination to improve further upon those results and give yourself the best possible chance with your mocks in the, uh, the spring term. So well done to you boys in year 11. So that wraps up uh, what's been a uh, pretty interesting and a week that has just slipped by very, very quickly. Um, things are changing here on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, parents, I can only say that. The advice we're getting every single day is immensely time consuming for us to continue to update and uh, monitor. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. Um, we will obviously continue to be incredibly vigilant in the event of a potential school closure. We're not expecting anything to happen, um, I must add, but certainly the latest um, announcement from Boris Johnson this week 
did not rule it out. And I think that was quite significant. He was explicit about that when he was questioned on it. So we must be prepared before Christmas, potentially, if the R rate does not come down um, and he does invoke a full lockdown, which has been mooted, then it is possible that schools may be included as a part of that. Um, you can be assured we are incredibly well prepared. You, you can see our plans. They've been sent to you. Um, and those of you who were here last term know that they did work um, really quite well. And we are um, confident we have approved, improved upon them since uh, with feedback from all stakeholders. It will, of course, once again be a homeschool learning partnership, but one that we can look forward to with great confidence in a system that is tried and trusted. In the meantime, I wish you all uh, a very pleasant weekend and hope that you are able, like I will be able, to take advantage of an early sitting in a restaurant before we get kicked out at 10pm. Anyway, have a great weekend.